All right, let's start it off right now. We're happy to have a friend of the showgram here to open our fourth annual showgram on Broadway. He's been on this show before. Last year, when he was in New York, he performed for the Pope. He's got a brand new CD out on EMI. It's called Cicada. Here is John Cicada. <laughs> Yeah. From that first hello Though you never asked for it You took hold of my soul And when you and I don't know Inside a heart that lies And if there ever was a doubt Not to believe That some things are meant to be Cause no matter how far away you are I feel you can I thought I would regret it, no, then I thought I could forget the times we shared together, but I never thought I'd care for you, baby, I never really thought it would Not a bad way to start the show. Oh, that's great, thanks. How you been? I'm doing real good, real good. Yeah. yeah. So you got to play with the Pope. Well, you know, not... <laughs> you know come what I'm on, saying. Come on, come on. You know, for the Pope. Hey, he's, he's, he's a big guy, you know what I'm saying? He is. It's, it's, uh... Got the big pole, you know, was, the hat. Yeah, well, that, that, was, uh, that was really cool because uh, it was coincidence. I mean, I was here in New York and... They asked me to do it because I was in New York doing the, the Broadway show at the time, and uh, so that was uh, quite special, very historic. How's it like doing uh, Broadway? 
It was great. Uh, hard work, though. I mean, doing a show, a show, you know, I like that. Eight shows a week. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of stamina, a lot of discipline. It was, uh, it was good for me, though. Really kind of, it took my career, I think, as an artist to another level. Mm -hmm. Because as a performer, there's nothing like just having to be there and just be that, that discipline. Do you have any idea it was going to be that tough when you started doing it? No, I didn't. You know. See, it's the thing. People start doing that. Yeah. And they think, oh, it's going to be great. But then you realize, I never, you can't call in sick. Well, no, you, you can. can't. Well, you can, you but, know, but it's... You know. <laughs> people get mad. Yeah, they, no, it, it, you know, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not, um, it's, uh, it's the kind of thing that, uh, you, you know, the show must go on. And, mm -hmm. and you you got to do it on, I mean, the, I think I missed a couple of shows and, and uh, it's literally because I couldn't, couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. I was really, really sick, but otherwise, got to be there. Absolutely. So, uh, a lot of people may or may not know this, you, you have a, a master's degree and uh, you went to school, what'd you do? I um, uh, have a master's in jazz. Actually, yeah. Uh, in jazz? In jazz performance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Boy, I bet uh, that final was tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, um, when I went to school, I wanted to, to study, I guess, like, the closest thing that was uh, too popular, being involved in the popular music field. And the, the school that I went to was very, uh, very vocational. They were really into, like, the, the industry. And, and most of the guys that I worked with are guys that I went to school with. Mm -hmm. So you, your parents came over from Cuba? Yeah. And what'd you open up a diner there? Yeah, my, my parents have had a lot of different coffee shops in, uh, in Miami and stuff. And I used to work the cash register and make Cuban coffee. Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. You ever have to wait on people? Absolutely. You did all that stuff? Oh, yeah, I did everything. And I have a question. I'm reading through the uh, bio here. I don't know uh, a general way to say this. You have a song out called uh, Too Late, Too Soon. Right. Inspired by an ex girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Care to elaborate? Well, you know, I had, I had written a still lyrics a long time ago that dealt with it. Something that kind of happened to me where the guy comes home and finds his, uh, his partner with somebody else. And, uh, and when I went out to work with Jimmy, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, they, they had a working title on the hook that was dealt with the same issue and just put mm -hmm. a, little, a little bit of my lyrics. And so this is about a guy who comes home and sees his girlfriend. Yeah. Um, somebody else. Something yeah. like that. I mean, I, Horizontal with somebody else. Well, you know. <laughs> I didn't see the act or anything, but uh, it was, you know. You're assuming. It didn't, it didn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So you did a, you did a duet with uh, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. What, he was not there, was he? No. Isn't that where he lays the tracks on, you just come in and sing to his voice? Yeah, everybody did that, but it was just to be, you know, I'm a name in the same uh, album as his. That was, just, uh, so let, you know, he's a legend, mm -hmm. you know, a living legend. and. Uh, Phil Ramon, the guy that produced it, uh, the record, did a great job in putting all the, uh, all the artists together. With, uh, so does Frank Sinatra. get to listen to this and say if it's good or not, and if he doesn't like it, he'd call you back? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so I'm glad it was good. You yeah, know. really. <laughs>